You know, for 11 years now, there has been a go-to for the homeless population here on Delmarva, a place uh, where there's a warm meal, where there's a good night's rest, where there's spiritual guidance that's encouraging at a time in life when nothing seems to be going right. That place is Hope and Life Outreach, or HALO. We featured HALO on the show in the past, but today 1025 WBOC's Corey Phoebus got to stop by and see firsthand how they're changing lives. And changing lives they are indeed. And I'm always excited to come down to Halo just to kind of meet up with old friends like one that you may have seen on the show before. The founder, Celeste Savage. Celeste, how are you? I'm doing good, Corey. Now, I do want to get into depth about what Halo does, but we're going to get into that later as you just are, you had, you had a pretty big event earlier this morning. So can you give me a summary of what Halo is? Yeah, just putting it real simple, you know, Halo works with the homeless population here in our community. and and uh, you know, just providing a, a hand up for them. Now, you are completely funded by donations. That's correct. We, we uh, reach out to individuals, to foundations, and you know, different ones that, that are willing to help support us. We, we do not receive any government funding or funding that would compromise our message. Now, it also seems that we're also shaking things up a little bit. Halo was the best kept secret, but not anymore. Yeah, uh, it seems like we've learned through the last, well, we've been in operation for 12 years, so it's kind of the best kept secret because a lot of times we hear, um, I don't even know about Halo, you know, and so we're not going to keep it secret anymore. And I was in that boat as well. The first time that I came here, I had no idea Halo even existed, but now it's always a good time to come down and be able to talk with you folks. So yeah. let's talk about the event that happened earlier this morning. Well, it was exciting. We had over 50 CEOs and uh, community leaders that came out again. We're the best kept secret. So these, a lot of these individuals did not realize all of the services that Halo provides here. So and spread the, spread the word. Absolutely. Words. Spread, get, get you a little hey, more notoriety. Yeah, it's more than just a building. There is a lot of work going on here. And there, and, and the couple times that I've been here before, there are a lot of rooms and things to see. So you took everybody kind of on a tour. What did you show them? Right. Well, you know, one of the big things that we had is, is the event took place right in our sanctuary auditorium. Um, that's a nice facility that we use for um, events, our movies for the guests. It's just a, a nice size room to do what we need to do with. And then uh, as the tour progressed, we went on over to our Eagle Wings, our Children and Youth Center. And uh, that's an important part for me, Corey, because we have so many women and, and children that come through our facility. And this gives the children an opportunity to come in and stay uh, informed with uh, keeping their homework up to date. Our goal and our desire is to break the cycle of homelessness. Sure. So what else um, was shown on the tour? Well, uh, once we finish that, obviously one of the important rooms in this building is our, is our prayer room. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we are a Christ-centered organization, so every Monday morning our staff gets together, we have our prayer time and, and all of that, and it's open to the public. If anybody needs to come in, our chaplain's, chaplain's willing to, to be there with, her, with them, and on through um, our men's shelter at the very, near the very end of our facility. Mm -hmm. um, we were thankful for having, you know, the shelter available. We can put 55 men in this shelter. And then we move right on into our cafe. We served over 70,000 meals last oh year. All right, and Meal of fun. course, we're gonna have a link to that on our website, delmarvalife.com. Celeste, thank you so much. Thank for you, time appreciate to talk it. Yep. Back to you guys. Isn't that an incredible program? Celeste has been there since the very beginning. Here's the story. Years ago, she was a bus driver. She says that she noticed a homeless man's bedroll on the sidewalk, and it was at that moment that she surrendered her life to help others. And that is how Halo was born. 